Uh, listen, we do have some breaking news from overnight to talk about. A Houston police officer is recovering right now after being injured in an undercover sting. So they were actually in pursuit of thieves when another officer hit him. Our Steve Campion is live from Northwest Houston this morning. And Steve, this is all because of those catalytic converters. And we've heard this story numerous times, Steve. You've got that right, Samika. That undercover police operation was targeting thieves who are going after catalytic converters that happened at a city-owned lot near 290 and Bingle. I want you to take a look at some of the video of those recovered converters that we have into our newsroom. We are told cops witnessed this crime in real time. They tried stopping the three people responsible. Those people fled, leading police on a chase which ended near the Southwest Freeway in Beechnut. One officer was injured when he pursued the crooks on foot. The good news this morning, we are told that that officer had minor injuries. He is expected to be okay, and they were able to make those three arrests. Reporting live in Northwest Houston, Steve Campion 13, Eyewitness News. Good morning. I'm Charlie Anthony live in downtown this morning and Gloria Williams at 11 o'clock going to be going before a judge for the second time this week. That judge going to be deciding whether or not to raise her $900,000 bond. Now, Williams has been charged with injury to a child as well as tampering with evidence in connection to a horrific case of child abuse that came to light almost two weeks ago. Investigators with HCSO say three of the woman's children were found living in deplorable conditions inside of an apartment with the decaying corpse of their eight-year-old brother, his name Kendrick Lee. Both Williams and her boyfriend have been charged in this case. And of course, we're going to be inside the courtroom and we'll bring you the latest when we have it. We're live from downtown Charlie at City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Charlie, thank you. Let's talk about your day ahead. We've got a lot to cover. We're going to hear opening statements in the trial of the three men accused of chasing down and killing Ahmaud Arbery. It's one of the highest profile murder trials in Georgia history, and it begins with controversy with only one black person on the jury. Honoring Colin Powell, the retired Army General, former Secretary of State and Joint Chiefs of Staff, will be remembered at a funeral service today at the Washington National Cathedral. Powell's son, uh, Madeline Albright, among others, will eulogize him. Also today, last day for renters and landlords to apply for pandemic relief from the state of Texas. Those in charge of the Texas rent relief say requests have exceeded that $1.9 billion that's been set aside. The Houston Harris County Rental Assistance is still up and running. Well, the Houston Astros will talk about the end of the season this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Of course, two of the biggest questions here. Will Dusty Baker return as the team's manager? And will the Astros make a play for Carlos Correa in free agency? Let us know. Okay, so we'll tell you at 3 what we find out. Mm. Meanwhile, a live look now to the Strand in Galveston. It is a beautiful morning. Lots of cones set up for day two of the Lone Star Rally, which is a big one Alita and we know the weather will be really nice. Here's a picture right there. Yeah. Beautiful picture. Uh, so they're already setting up for it. It is back this year after a bit of a hiatus due to the pandemic. The four day event features free concerts, bike shows and of course hundreds of thousands of motorcycles. I can see why you issued that sunrise alert Alita. Mm. As we look, yes. at that look at that. Yes, a little after 730 this yeah. morning. So I encourage you get a snapshot of that sunrise and send it in. We'd love to show <laughs> it off. Uh, weather wise for today we already gave you a little sneak peek there with a live picture from Galveston looking good over downtown. Finally seeing those clouds clearing out. Temperatures continue to tumble in the upper 30s right now in the Lake Conroe area, 44 in Houston. Here's a look at your hour by hour forecast taking us into the lunchtime hour in the low 60s, mid 60s for those afternoon highs. Another chilly morning on Saturday before temperatures warm. In fact, Saturday and Sunday we're back up into the low 70s. Don't forget. We fall back this weekend and then heading into next week with some added clouds. We've got some 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Veterans Day, our next cool front arrives, and that's going to usher in some added clouds and some rain showers. And then things clearing out as well for the following weekend. So we're locked in with a couple of really nice weekends here, ladies. That is so nice. Perfect mm -hmm. for uh, decorating, and it matches the holiday season, which <laughs> makes it like decorating. even better, right? Decorating. Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm in early. Yes. I got to take down that. my Halloween decor this weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll be busy doing 
doing that. That is true. I do need to wash the kitchen towels. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, listen, we'll talk more about this coming up in our next hour. You know right. that we are. We oh, do stream yeah. in the morning at 7 o'clock, right? It's our coffee and conversation. We definitely invite you to join us here. Hopefully you have our app already. That's where you can see right on the top. Just scroll to the right-hand side. You'll see it right off the top. We talk about your headlines, your weather. We check in with our reporters who are covering all things this morning. Uh, so we invite you starting at 7 o'clock, top of the hour. Uh, again, go to the app if you don't have it. Please download it. And, <gasps> and here is the money shot. Woo! Woo Before we go, a live look from Sky Eye. Look at that. This is a sunrise mm -hmm. alert issued by our own meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sunrise alert, Beautiful ladies. Sun. It is just gorgeous. Thank you, Tammy Rose and Pilot. Who's the pilot this morning? Dave. 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 Pilot okay. Dave. Pilot Dave. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. I wonder oh. if they have seat warmers in the pilot. In the, in the job. <laughs> we'll have to ask her in the stream. Oh, yeah, we'll ask her in the stream. Yes. Um, happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> yes. Have a beautiful weekend. We'll see you back here um, on the stream and then, of course, on Monday morning.